Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cover, I am Penge, and welcome back to the Guild 3, although this is not going to be the game of the Guild 3 that you are expecting, because unfortunately the Guild 3 has recently been updated, there's been a very fundamental update to the game, and that has rendered all previous save games null and void and obsolete, which means that I can't reload the Cupboard Dynasty games, they're just not there, I can never go back to the Cupboard Dynasty, we'll never ever find out what happens to the cupboards which is a tragedy <laughs> it's a terrible thing indeed so what we're going to have to do is we're just going to have to pretend that the cupboard dynasty did very well indeed we, we started off okay bernard didn't do particularly great bernard had a bit of a harsh time of it but then once we got the hang of it they'd managed to get themselves a few sort of uh, businesses under their belt and there was even a pub we got to the point where we'd opened a pub which i suppose was our long-term goal so at least we got there but yeah we'll imagine that they went on and were glorious and great and they rose to power and they were benevolent and kind and beloved and all that kind of stuff but yes the covered dynasty is no more we cannot go back to that game again and carry it on which is very very unfortunate and that's always the risk when you play early access games and all that kind of stuff the game gets updated and sometimes it does break previous save games because of the way they update it and how the save games work and all that kind of stuff so what we're going to do is we are going to start another series of the guild three now what well, the only good thing really to come of that is that I now know how the game works to a very basic level because when we started with the cupboards I didn't really know what I was doing now I've got a little bit more of an understanding of how the game functions we might be a little bit better prepared for those early sort of those early years of the game so let's dive straight in shall we let's start a new single player game and create ourselves a new dynasty so the first thing we have to do is set up our game and I think we're going to go for Paris. We don't want to go back to London. London's sorted. The cupboards have got London absolutely under control. They're being lovely and kind and benevolent and giving everyone nice, nice beer and stuff like that. So let's go over to Paris because Paris is another European capital. So we'll go from one European capital to another. Um, also, it sounds very lovely. It's one of the most prosperous and influential cities in the Western Hemisphere. It's got nice colleges, universities, monasteries, all that kind of stuff. So you know, it's a pretty good place to go. Paris is a pretty good place to go. Let's look at what we've done for the actual settings. Um, I've gone for 10 dynasties, because that's what we had in London, and that seems like a manageable amount. So there's 10 other opponents. I don't know if that includes us or not, but whatever the case, that looks about a sort of nice manageable number of dynasties to have going on around Paris. Difficulty level normal. And the big thing really is I've ramped this down. Now when we started this over in London, when the cupboards were created, I didn't know what this meant. So I just kind of went, yeah, four years, great, whatever. So when a season ends and the next one rolls round, it was moving forward four years, which meant that we had to kind of hurry up. We had to get a lot of stuff done in one day. It was like, right, you need to get married, you need to get married, let's do that, have children. I think, let's bring it down to two years. I thought about bringing it down to one year, but that might make it quite slow. That might make it a little bit easy in terms of acquiring the monies. So I thought two years gives us a little bit of challenge in ensuring that the dynasty continues, but it's not as challenging as having it on four years where everything just rushes by very, very quickly indeed. So we'll put it onto two years. And as before, we shall be a poor fellow. So we start just rocking up at Paris and wondering what we can do. And we'll have a free game. I don't want an objective. I just want to play and see what happens. So that's the game configured. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the person who is going to be our first avatar and the founder of our dynasty. This is Claude Cup of Tea. <laughs> of course, we've moved from cupboards to cup of teas. And naturally, because he's called Claude Cup of Tea, Claude, because he's in France, you see, he's in Paris. So Claude Cup of Tea is going to have the herbalism skill because one of the things that you can do when you build your herbalist, her to whatever it is, the first thing you can do is make herb tea. So Claude cup of tea is going to make his money selling tea which just seems terribly appropriate i love that idea so there we go and as you can see he's a very dapper sort of gent let's zoom in he's a very sort of handsome young fellow and he's got a good hat i mean he looks a bit like a shower cap but i still like it it looks like a lovely stylish thing and i love the kind of the jaunty sort of rakish angle he's got it at i mean is it important that his right ear is covered and his left ear is not i don't know but whatever the case claude clearly thinks this is good maybe this is the the height of fashion in Paris, I do not know. Um, in terms of points, now one thing I don't know is what we need for herbalism. When we were going down the sort of the agriculture route with the cupboards, it was uh, it was, became apparent that we wanted strength because strength was good. And uh, the only thing is, I don't really know about this now. So they're all down to one at the moment. I think let's put them all up to two. 
just to give us a sort of, you know, still a nice sort of grounding in everything. Um, let's add a bit to our charisma. Let's put a couple of points in charisma. I think maybe if you're a herbalist, you might need to be quite intelligent. You're going to need a little bit of something about you, a little bit of, you know, brain power to make sure you mix the right herbs. You don't create something really deadly and terrible. Um, and then possibly let's get ourselves, let's get ourselves a point of strength because we know, we know from experience that we will get attacked. So let's just ramp that up. And I think we're ready to go. Claude Cupperty is ready to go and start his adventures in Paris. We'll see how we get on. I mean, the overall goal for this, maybe the overall goal for Claude Cupperty, is that we could open up a low of infirmaries and hospitals and stuff and the cup of teas could be known for their you know their sort of lovely healing ways and giving people access to medical care and all that kind of stuff but yeah what we'll have to see how we get on but i think we're ready to go so claude let's go to paris and start your new life and there is Claude outside of his little house. What is it? A farmhouse that is worryingly called Flea Bitten. <laughs> okay, fine. Right, maybe we'll have to get you to do a deep clean on that, Claude. But there we go. So Claude is here. So he's got himself a little house and a little kind of... What's that? So like a hay storage thing behind as well. Okay, so where are we near? We need to have a little look around Paris now because we've never been here before. It's a whole new city for us to explore. So whereabouts are we? We are in, that's the market of Amiens. Amiens, I don't know how you pronounce it, but we'll call it Amiens because that sounds about right. Um, and uh, yeah, there's a few things around here. So there's a butcher's. There's a couple of houses where people live. There's a church. There's a cemetery. There's a windmill. Oh, there's a herb hut over here. So that is going to be competition, which is unfortunate. Okay, but there we go. There's only one other herb hut. So we might be okay if we set up early and actually get on with creating some stuff to take the market. That might be good for monies. Okay, it's, fa it's very lovely around here. Oh, we're near one of the long distance trade route things. Oh, that's quite good. We're near one of these little sort of trade things. We're practically next door to it. That's good. Right, where's where's Paris? Oh, it's right on our doorstep. It's very, very close indeed. In fact, there is the gate. There is a gate into Paris. Oh, it looks very lovely. There's all sorts going on over here. What's that? Uh, a mine, the Endless Tunnel. That is an estate farm. Oh, that's a little bit fancy, isn't it? Oh, how swish, lovely. Okay. Um, and then Paris here with a huge river. Again, mountains. I don't remember Paris being quite so mountainous, but okay. And then a great big river going through Paris. That looks very impressive indeed. Okay, and here, of course, in the middle. I mean, yeah, what do they call it here? This is the cathedral called the Supreme Glory of God. I imagine that's Notre Dame because Notre Dame is in between the rivers, isn't it? So that's Notre Dame, but not called that. Um, it looks very, very impressive. It looks great round here. Okay, yeah, we, we need to move into here. We need to move into Paris as soon as possible. Uh, lots of lovely houses. Oh, it's very pretty. It's very pretty around here. And this is the big important bit. So this is where the top brass are going to live, is it? This is the castle. The Louvre Castle is over that way. Um, oh, there's a library, the Tree of Knowledge and everything. Oh it's, oh, it's lovely. It's lovely over there. Look at it. Oh, it's very pretty. Oh, it's very pretty indeed. Let's just come down to street level. Oh, hello. Hi. <laughs> Who are you? What do you do? Do you sell stuff? You're Petru and you're 15 and you're selling meat. Oh, okay. That's quite nice. I do, it is a very pretty game. It's a very, very pretty game. Look at that. That looks lovely. As I were going through a walk through whatever it is that Paris in the 1400s. That is lovely. However, that is a little way off for us. Plus, I've also lost Claude. Where are you, Claude? There you go. So Claude needs to set up a shop. We need to set up something to make some money, Claude, or this is going to be very short-lived. And then also, you need to go and get yourself uh, a good a good lady in order to produce some offspring. And we know that that needs to happen earlier as well because we don't want to catch the pox and die. However... I did see in the patch notes for the version that we've got right now that they've actually lessened the effect of diseases to give you a little bit more time to sort it out. Because, yeah, it was quite, particularly the plague that Bernard got, he couldn't get to a place to heal him really properly. And then he just died en route. So, um, yeah, they've lessened that. So it might not be too much of a problem. But, of course, you want to keep him alive anyway. So first things first, a herb hut for 1,060 monies. It can only be built in the village. Um, right, do we want to call it Love Potions? I don't think we want to call it Love Potions. Uh, right, let's name this something else. I think we shall call it Cup of Tea Concoctions because I do like the word concoction. I love that word. It's a brilliant word. And joy of joys, we can put spaces in this now. We can put spaces 
in the business names, which is great because when you press spacebar, it doesn't light up the streets like it did do previously with, you know, the zone sort of stuff. It actually lets you put a space in here in this little text box, which is marvelous. So we'll call it Cup of Tea Concoctions. So, okay, we'll confirm that. And we want it very near to the market. I mean, we could put it just there. That is a perfect place for it. And then the market's just there. So anything we sell, we can just go duh, 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 duh. <laughs> So we can just sort of sprint across the road. So that makes perfect sense. So let's put it right there. I mean, oh, do we put it here right next to our house? And it's still only, the market's only just there. Joe, you know well, let's do that. Let's put it right next to our house. So we'll drop it there. Yes, please. I would love to. So I mean, yeah, the market is still just here. We can just run from our shop to the market very, very quickly. So yes, yeah, sales should go up quite quick. I mean, yeah, it's going to put extra pressure on actually getting the stuff produced. Okay, so now, now we know that that's going to rise out the ground. Let's get Claude into his house. So let's go over here, Claude. And Claude, you need to make yourself some stuff. So Claude, start working on making some flannels because you're a, you know, you're a smelly peasant, essentially. You're a smelly peasant and you need a bit of a wash. So let's put it onto normal speed. So let's just get Claude to maybe make himself three or four flannels. So there we go. So he's got three sorted. So now we'll do four flannels. There we go. So he's got four of them. And let's get some bouquets of flowers as well, because then he can use those to woo the lady folk of Paris. So there we go. How many have we got? Do you know what? We'll just make as many as we can. So yeah, don't do that anymore. And then put those in your possession. So yes, please go and do that. Marvellous. Okay. How is the, uh, how's the business looking? How is it looking? It's rising up out of the ground. Oh, who's that next door? Who are you? And you're a craftsman's hut. Now, of course, all this stuff will start kicking off. That's got to be a croft. The rat infestation. <laughs> Why would you call it this? Why would you call it the rat infestation? That's a terrible idea. And also, I, I hadn't really noticed this before. I hadn't appreciated this. The lovely sort of lighting effects and the weather and stuff. Look, like there's a cloud going over there. There's just clouds going over and making it all sort of cloudy. And now the sun's come out. It's a very pretty game. Right, a new building has been finished. Okay, ramp time back down to slow-mo. And now let's go into our building and hire some employees. We've got 2,000 money left, so we can do this. Um, oh, it costs a little bit more. An annual salary of 200. Now, do we shell that out right now? Does that go now? Yeah, so an annual salary, we pay them up front. And we've got ourselves Feudabold. That's a brilliant name. I'm, I'm, I might be pronouncing it wrong. It might be a tier rather than a fear, but okay. And we need another one. So Joseph, that's a little bit more easy to pronounce. And then we need a transporter as well. So yes, please. So we'll hire ourselves a transporter. Valerie, marvellous. Okay, so we've got Valerie the transporter and Thudebold and Joseph. Now, what do we need to make herb tea? We need mixed herbs and we need a bucket of water. Okay, somebody needs to go and get water. That seems like a fairly obvious thing to do. So you go and get water. Theudebold, your job is to get water. A key component to any good cup of tea is water. So you go and do that. Joseph, what do we need to make? So we need mixed herbs. To make mixed herbs, we need lavender and blackberries. Oh, this is going to be a bit of a faff, isn't it? This is going to be a bit of a faff because we're going to need lavender and blackberries okay um one of you go and get you get lavender okay and now add-ons let's go down here and invest in this 150 let's get an extra worker slot go back to here hire another worker and then they can go and get what were you getting were you getting lavender can't remember what you were doing joseph what were you doing okay ah, yeah lavender it's got the little thing by you get lavender you get blackberries Okay, so we've got somebody getting water, somebody getting lavender, somebody getting blackberries, and Valerie at the minute is going to be doing utterly nothing. <laughs> I'm paying Valerie to do nothing very much at the minute, but that's fine. Right, and now, where is he? Oh, look at it. Can we just go and look at it? Oh, it's lovely. Oh, I like that. It's got, hang on, have we got skulls? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> Claude, what's going on here? What, why have you got some skulls hanging in a bag? What kind of madness is this? Okay, right, so Claude's a little bit evil. Um, uh, yeah, Part-time herbalist, part-time necromancer. He's also got wind chimes, which irritate the, the heck out of me. Other people might love these, but sometimes, you know, if you're on holiday, you can hear wind chimes chiming. You're trying to go to sleep. I find that a little bit irritating. There you go. So he's got wind chimes as well. Another skull there. Um, what else is there? 
He's drying some herbs. I can't really see because the smoke from that building being created. Some more skulls in a bag and then just some sort of firewood stuff. Okay. I mean, that's a bit crazy, but right you are. So all these people are now running off to do some stuff. Now, one thing I don't know is where do they go to find things like lavender and blackberries? Where do they go to find those? The well is just there. So the well of Amiens is quite near. That's quite good. So that will not take too long to go and get loads of water. But where do they go to get the other stuff? I am intrigued. I do not know. Also, Claude, you could help out as well at this point. Um, but we'll need to see where they go. Because I don't really know where they're going. In fact, can we put Claude into the... Can we put Claude in there? Claude, go into there. So you go into here and just see what you can do. Do you come up as a worker? Or are we only allowed so many? Um... Claude, Claude, oh, he's in here, but I can't assign him a task as such. I can't give him a job. Okay, right. Where do our people go to get these things in? Where do they go to retrieve, I don't know, whatever it was, lavender and stuff? Let's watch them. So it's you two running off, which is fine. But I mean, how far do you go? I mean, there's fields. There's nice fields of things. Do you go to a field? I genuinely don't know. Oh, how far away is the? Oh, hang on, they go into the... Oh, they go into this little grove. Ah, that's where they go. Oh, I see. This place is where they go. Aha! Lavender, blackberry, jasmine and honey are in here. I see. So we've got a couple of people in here. We've got Judith and Joseph. Judith? If that's not one of mine. We didn't hire a Judith, did we? Hang on, what? Was that our third person that we hired that I didn't look at the name of? Theobald, Joseph and Judith. I don't remember them being called that, but okay, fine. That's the name of the other person we've got. So yes, they're both in there grabbing lavender and blackberries. We're getting a load of water, although water is harder to get because, as we know, as we saw last time, <laughs> they don't use the bucket. They don't use the bucket for the well. They just jump in the well. They just take a little dive down there. Um, somebody is already ill. Now, one thing you can do, Claude, let's go over to the market straight away. Claude, run over to the market, my good sir. What we're going to do is we are going to equip you with some defense. Because we've seen already in the previous, in the, yeah, in the Cupboard Dynasty, that people like to attack us a bit. And at the minute, we're just punching them. So if we can get some way of fighting back, that makes sense. Um, I kind of noticed that a rapier is actually relatively, relatively cheap. It's 21 gold. Why? Is it rubbish? Um, three attack power, plus one defense, and plus 25 damage. Plus one attack power, plus 15 damage, plus one defense. Hang on, what? Hang on, why? Hang on a minute. The dagger is nowhere near as good as the rapier, yet the dagger is really extortionately priced. There must be a big demand on daggers at the minute. Um, oh, the only thing is, he's carrying these things. Okay. <laughs> right, hang on. Right, okay, Claude. Back you go to the house. Run back to the house for a second, Claude, if you'd be so kind. Pop back home. And then just drop off those things and then go back to the market. Okay, Claude's dropped all those things off and he is now back at the market with capacity to carry some stuff. And yeah, let's just get him a rapier. Now the rapier's already gone up in value. So let's do this really quickly. So yes, we'll have one of those, please. Yes, thank you. So yeah, we did spend a little bit more gold then than we would have done you know, how we bought it on the previous trip. But that's fine. So put that into your inventory. You can now carry yourself... A, a good old, a good old sword. And it's not just a little stabby dagger. It's a proper, proper thing. A rapier is brilliant. So plus three attack power against the plus one of a dagger. Plus one defense uh, is the same as a dagger. And then it does plus 25 damage as opposed to the 15 damage of a dagger. So yeah, it makes sense to get one of those. I mean, it'd be lovely. In the long run, we will go and get these exciting things here. We'll get more weapons. I'd love to yeah, equip him with a gun. <laughs> just wandering around with a gun, just shooting people. But that's a little way off yet. They're quite expensive. We've not got loads of money right now. Uh, do we want to go and get anything else? Because stuff seems relatively affordable at the minute. Like, for example, citizen's clothes. What are we wearing now? Robust clothing. It gives us utterly no bonuses at all, but it is clothes. However, citizen's clothing, 10 armour. That's going to be good for keeping us alive. Four resistance, I guess, to illness, I'm going to assume. A reputation bonus. And three stealth. So I can creep around a bit. Stately garb. Four resistance, again. Four charisma reputation bonus and a bonus when bargaining that could be very good that could be very good indeed and claude could go round in his stately garb 
Oh, that sounds remarkably good. A camouflage cloak is armor and stealth, and commoner's clothes is just armor and stealth and resistance. Um, weird enough, commoner's clothes, very, very expensive. I imagine because there's only one of them. I imagine there's yeah only one. So supply and demand is such that the, the cost of that is really expensive. Whereas stately garbs, there's 371 of those. <laughs> there's loads of them. There's loads of stately garbs. Um, I'm tempted to go for that. For resistance, we get the same resistance as citizens' clothes, which is good. We get a reputation bonus, which is good, 4% and 5%. So we get more reputation bonus. We get a bonus when bargaining. So we don't wouldn't get that with citizens clothes and we get plus four charisma. However, the citizens clothes would give us 10 armor and three stealth. Not bothered about the stealth. I'm going to I'm going to treat Claude to some stately garb. I think that sounds like a great thing to do. Let's not buy them all because that's madness. Let's buy one lot of stately garb and then you can wear the stately garb. And that has given us a big old boost. So we're a bit more resistant to illness. We're quite charismatic now because we're wearing some fancy pants clothes, which we're going to look at in a minute. Our reputation goes up and we've got a bonus when we do some bargaining, like now. Um, do we want anything else? What's a lucky stone? Oh, a lucky Oh, there's so many lovely things. Oh, this is very exciting. I do notice black market goods as well. <laughs> it's just a little bit dubious, isn't it? A bone bracelet. Oh, we'll be able to make some of these things. Oh, we'll be able to make these. A cap of invisibility sounds brilliant. And all we need is some ghostly fog. <laughs> And some bones. We've got loads of bones. We've got loads of bones. Claude hangs them up outside his door, you know, to make it friendly and welcoming. Okay, this is this is very good news. Um, the horse-drawn cart seems quite expensive. There is only one. Hopefully that will come down. Although we might not need the horse-drawn cart from here, from our little sort of uh, herb hut thing, over to the market because it's it's practically next door. A hand cart we could possibly use. And if that slows you down, that's ten percent less speed. So there's no point. There's no point, really. And the horse, yeah, the horse-drawn car is very expensive to go between there and there. So I'm not really so bothered about that. How about we get ourselves a lucky stone? <laughs> that sounds like a fun thing to have. So an extra point of charisma, point of perception, more reputation bonus, and more bonus when we bargain. I think let's get that. The metaphysical belt just makes us stronger and a diamond is, uh, yeah, diamond's a little bit. It's not very exciting, is it? A lucky stone sounds very good. Let's have a lucky stone, please. We'll have one of those and we'll put that in there, I assume. Oh, there, it's one of these sort of slots. And then we'll sell this because I don't want that anymore. So can we just flog that? Yeah, we just just get rid of that. Thanks, bye. So we'll sell that. Now, the important thing now is to go and have a look. Come here, Claude. Let's just go and have a look at what Claude looks like. Because he's got his fancy garb on. Let's have a look. Oh, Claude. Oh, Claude, you you are a man of means. Oh, <laughs> Claude. Oh, that's a beautiful thing, Claude. You look you look remarkably dapper there. Oh, look at this. You've got a fancy thing around your neck. And, and kind of tights, which is fine. And pointy shoes. Oh, the medieval times. An age of pointy shoes for no discernible reason. Oh, Claude, you look, you look very much the piece. And, you know, I mean, yes, you've lost your hat. You've lost your hat that covered one ear. But this hat here is an even better hat, and you're still wearing it at a lovely rakish angle. So well done, Claude. And a quick check on the things that we now have available to us. We've got ourselves... What have we got? Some water. That's a good thing. And we've got some blackberries. We are lacking, however, the lavender. We're lacking the lavender. Now, we could possibly buy the mixed herbs, but if we can make it ourselves from resources that are free, that makes perfect sense. It just must be the lavender is taking a little bit longer to actually get than the other stuff. So the blackberry is easier to find than the lavender. What we are going to do is, though, again, because we know the drill, Valerie, where are you? What are you doing? You're just sort of running around, Valerie. Let me control you for a second. Valerie, come here. We are also going to give you a bit of defense. Now, yeah, we'll give the rapier again because it makes more sense to have a better weapon. So yeah, have one of those, pop that down into there. So that'll be quite good. Now, what have you got? Transporters, clothes, an extra point of speed. That's a good thing. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll take that. That's a good thing. Um, and I think that'll do for you for now. We don't want to give you any of these other things right now. We don't want to give you a carrying bag, an extra storage slot. I don't think we need to right now. I don't think we need to give you a bag right now. If it comes to it, we could always give you a bag. But the minute you've got nothing to do, 
You've got nothing to do right now. So you're just going to get attack, power, defense, and damage. Did you just make 80 gold? How did you make 80 gold? What did you sell? Oh, no, don't go selling things that we need. No, 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 don't sell water and stuff. No, you've got no route assigned. You've got no route assigned. Okay. I don't know how you made that then. Uh, right, you return return home, Valerie. Come home, Valerie, please. So now we've got some blackberries and some lavender and some water. And the thing is, we need kind of... We need five people. We need five people to do all the work here. So, uh, yeah, we need a, a couple of people to go and grab the, the actual herbs, the blackberries and the lavender. We need someone else to get water. We need someone else to make mixed herbs. And we need somebody else to make the herb tea. <laughs> so, yeah, we need more people. But never mind. So Valerie is armed, which is marvellous. So Valerie can actually defend herself, which is useful. Claude, you're not doing anything right now. You're doing nothing at all. Is it time for you to set up on a, set up on a little a little bit of conquest of romance? I think that might be a useful thing. Let's get that done now, and at least you know maybe you can start producing some offspring early on. So let's see. So down here, let's have a look. So we want to we want to embark on a romance. Who do we want to go and have a chat with? Uh, Marlene, Audrey, Octa. <laughs> Octavia, who's wearing one of those creepy mask things. Lynette, 16. Janice, 16. Nelwyn, how old's Claude? He's 18, is Claude. Can we find an, a, you know, someone of similar age? Can we find an 18-year-old? I mean, 21 will probably do. There's no 18-year-olds. There's no 18-year-olds. How about a 21-year-old then? A gun... I can't... I can't, in all good consciousness, send him away to chat to people that have got those masks on. I just can't do it. I can't do it, I'm afraid. Um, what about the one-on-ones down here? Alaris, uh, 21, a single commoner. Yeah, you'll do. You'll do the job. Um, so, yeah, where are you? Whereabouts are you? You're in Saint-Denis. I don't know whereabouts that is. Can we find you first? Um, hang on, can we... Oh, no, pick from the world won't help, will it? Let's just confirm that. Claude's doing nothing else right now. So everyone can run off. So Claude, everyone else can gather stuff. Claude can run off over to wherever his love might be. Oh my goodness me. There's, what's that? Reflections of birds flying. There is, there's birds. There's birds flying overhead and the reflections are on the ground. Oh, that's quite nice. Right, Claude, uh, let's follow Claude, shall we? Let's see where Claude is going. So he's going to run through the gate and here into, what well, I assume is an area of... Um, it, it, it's a work in progress over here in Paris. Oh, she's just here. Oh, this is marvellous. Okay, right, hang on. Did that work? Was that successful? Did you chat to her? I, I hope you did, Claude. Oh, you're very dapper. Um, okay, right. Oh, we haven't got any flowers. We haven't got any flowers. I should have done that, shouldn't I? Um, okay, can we embark on a liaison? Oh, hang on. We might need to we might need to do some more sweet talking first. Um, right, Claude. Claude, run back home a sec. Just pop over here, run back here, and pick up the flowers. So yeah, Claude, come back. Hang on, Claude. Claude, go home, pick up those flowers, and then go back and give, what's the name? I can't remember what she was called. Uh, some flowers. Just to, you know, sweet talk her a bit more. She loves the flowers. So that'd be nice. Also, you might be able to have a wash. Although, to be fair, you probably don't need to, because all the washing does is increases your charisma. And your charisma is quite high, I imagine, Claude, right now. What is your charisma? Modified, it's nine. Oh my goodness me. So nine, yeah, because we've got the stately garb on, we've got our fancy gear, and we've got a lucky stone in play as well. So yeah, that's that's actually not too bad, is it? That's pretty good going. Um, so, okay, so you don't need that, but you do need some lovely flowers. Of course you do. Carry some flowers about. Right, and now let's do this. Let's give a gift to Alaris, the 21-year-old 20 uh, single commoner. So now, unfortunately, you do have to run all the way back over here to find her. But that's okay. Right, so there we go. Oh, an employee has reached a new level. Who is it? It's, <laughs> it's whoever lives in the well. Let's go and have a look. Theodobald. Let's go and have a look. Let's give you a point of strength because you've got a strength of one. So we'll push that up to two just to bring it up to be a little bit more in line with all the others. Right, okay, now Claude. Uh, Claude, my good sir, we'll follow you and your adventures. Right, where is Alaris? She's gone quite far away now through this fairly empty bit of Paris. I mean, yeah, it's, it's clearly a work in progress area. They've not developed that bit yet. Uh, oh my goodness me, she went quite far away. <laughs> He's running through the whole middle. He's gone past Notre Dame that isn't Notre Dame. Luthus is giving him a bit of a race as well. It's a little bit sort of wacky race to start. Okay, right, there we go. Right, okay, bring it down to slow. Bring it down to slow speed. 
Okay, so good. So she got some flowers. This is marvellous. Heavy thunderstorm is battering the region. Can we sweet talk her? Because that's what we need to do. Oh, she's gone that way. She's running away again. <laughs> stop running away. Please stop running away from me, Alaris. I, I want to I want to chat to you. I want to whisper sweet nothings in your ear about that robber just there. And yeah, here we go. Little little chat going on. Hello, Alaris. How are you? There's a woman stood there watching us, but it's fine. Oh, he's literally whispering. Hello. I like, I like, I like the what you're wearing. It looks lovely. That kind of thing. Right, get, give her another present. Oh, hang on. That's almost at the top. If we give her another present and that goes up to the top, we might then be able to sweet talk her even more and then actually go on a proper romance with her, which would be marvellous. Okay, so yeah, we've added two to that, which I think was the maximum. So now can we, can we embark on a romance? Oh, no, hang on. No, 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 not that. Don't go and do another one. Embark on a liaison with her. So go and chat to her with your fancy garb on. So hello, Alaris. Look, I've got fancy garb on. Look at my hat. It's this big is my house, of course, is what I'm referring to. Um, and yeah, they go wavy arm stuff. Lots of ill people going by. Can you all just go away? Can you go to the doctors, please? Did she say yes? Yes. So that got us some influence, which is marvellous. I now have a love affair. This is very good. Now, can we just immediately go straight into marriage? Can we just immediately do that right now? Go on, Claude. Go on, your time is now. Let's have a little look. So, are you going to get down on one knee, Claude? No, Claude did not get down on one knee. Claude, you've, you've let the side down there. But look, yay, wedding. A late night, sort of, you know, it's a, it's a late wedding as well. It's night time. It's coming up to the end of the day, as it were. So, spring 1400, Claude has got himself married in his first day, which is marvellous. So we'll leave that scene. Now, of course, it does mean that um, that she vanishes. She teleports back to the house and just leaves Claude stood in, <laughs> in the middle of France now, in the middle of Paris, like a bit of a prune. But where are we? Where's our place? Um, okay, I'm a bit lost now. Uh, oh, no, Claude, I've lost your house and your business and your entire life and everything. Where are we? There, right, okay. Claude, come back here immediately, my good sir. And then we do need to start actually making some money out of this place. We do need to start doing something because we've got herbs and what have you now. Um, yeah, we've got quite a bit. So we need now somebody to go and make the mixed herbs. So let's get Theodobald to actually work on the mixed herbs. So Theodobald, come back home. Yes. Right. Make mixed herbs, please. So you can start working on those and cr uh, cranking a few of those out. Uh, which you should be able to because you've got the things for it. But of course, it's obviously they're not at work now because it's one in the morning and that would be weird. They came into work that early. That would be very dedicated. Um, is Claude back home yet? Claude is not back home. Okay, so right. First things first then. Let's wait for Claude to arrive home. And now another thing I probably do need to do is start reading these messages down here because I did get a little bit told off by some people in the comments saying, you're not reading the messages. They're probably containing very important things and you're just skipping by them. So the top one is somebody likes me. By chance, you notice a pickpocket about to cut a Laura Newbolt's purse. Without a moment's hesitation, you chase the thief off. The entire Newbolt family therefore expresses their gratitude to you, which is good. The stuff down here we knew about, so the new building, the employee leveled up. A heavy thunderstorm, we saw that. Love interest, but there you go, Alaris. So that's a little bit sort of old news now, given that we're married. Um, this thing here is to do with all our opponents naming heirs. So they've got heirs done already. So Abigail Ranger, Alvin Pargeter, Richard Gilchrist, Quinella Quinella. Oh, that is a good name. Quinella Footman, Lauren Newbolt, Carl Plowman. If you're not a farmer, Carl, I'll be very disappointed. Um, Garrick Kitchener. Garrick is a good name. And um, Agnes Hadfield. They're all heirs of all the different dynasties. So, yeah, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dynasties with heirs already. Okay, right. So, uh, yeah, they're, they're a little bit ahead of us right now. Don't worry. We will sort that out. I'm still not sure where Claude is. He must be almost home by now. He must be nearly home. Oh, however, joyously. Oh, there's Claude running around the corner. Also, somebody else has leveled up, which is excellent. It is, it's Judith. Hello. Um, let's up your charisma. I don't like seeing a one on these things. Oh, she looks very lovely indeed. Oh, she's got something on her head as well. Can we zoom in? Can we zoom in? Oh, you've got a little sort of, sort of flower crown thing. Oh, that's very pretty. Oh, I like her. She looks lovely. She's 17 and single. Oh, can we marry her off? She looks really nice. As long as she comes back to work for us. She looks very lovely. I like her. 
Okay, so the married couple are both at home and you know what that means. You know exactly what that means. We want to produce offspring. We need an heir to continue all this kind of shenanigans. So there we go. Claude and Alaris, you do the thing that requires you to, you know, create an heir. That's fine. We'll leave you alone for a bit. How is it going in here? What have we got? We've got some mixed herbs. The front store, ah, now, hang on. The front store is selling the mixed herbs. I don't want the front store to sell the mixed herbs. Keep in front store, zero. Don't, in fact, yeah, don't sell them. Don't sell the mixed herbs in the front store at all. Sell the herb tea for a tiny bit more, and in the front store we'll just put 10, because I imagine it's going to be okay to make herb tea. I imagine it's not going to be too bad a thing, particularly if we can get other people doing it as well. If we can get other people you know, get, grabbing stuff, our family members and whatever, Alaris could go and grab some mixed herbs at some point or some water or whatever. So, um, yeah, that would be quite good. But we now do need to make some herb tea because we've not got actually the thing that we need to sell. So we've not made any money from our business yet, as far as I'm aware. So maybe when you and you come back, you're collecting ingredients, you're just lavender... Uh, what's that? Family member has leveled up. Someone's expecting a baby. A family member has leveled up and pregnancy. Oh, yes. Oh, it's Claude. Claude has leveled up. <laughs> he leveled up from doing the thing. Okay, well done, Claude. <laughs> Good job. Um, Let's give you a point of dexterity then. Indicates a character's agility, physical responsiveness and basic body control. Yeah, let's up that by one point. Just make you a little bit more sort of limber and lithe and all that kind of stuff. So already it's 1402 and we're expecting a child from Alaris, which is marvellous. So that's going to happen in quite a while, but that's fine. So 17 minutes, 15 seconds in the real time, I think. So a little way off for that to happen. But at least she is, you know, she's, she's expecting, which is marvellous. So now I think what we need to do is we need to sort this out now. So who is going to come back? The next person that's going to come back, um, Judith... You can carry on going there. So when um, Joseph... Oh, was Joseph leveled up as well? Uh, yes, he has. Oh, oh, this is wonderful news. Okay. Um, you can have a point of... Uh, you can have a point of dexterity as well. Why not? There you go. You can be a little bit more dexterous. So when Joseph comes back, we will then set Joseph to actually make some of the stuff. We'll set Joseph to make some of the tea. And then finally, we will have something to sell. Because at the minute, <laughs> we're gathering loads and loads of resources... But we can't sell anything. We've got nothing to sell. So, yeah, maybe when Joseph comes back, he can then start working on the herb tea. And that gives us a product that we can actually go and flog at the market. And people can come in, come, uh, come in and buy. And then, actually, the Cup of Tea dynasty will be, you know, be known for actually selling cups of tea at long last. Okay, so here comes Joseph. Joseph is going to arrive home momentarily. So he's collecting ingredients. We just wanted to get in through the front door, I think, and drop those ingredients off. Right, stop doing that. He can then return home, which shouldn't take too long at all. So now he's not doing anything. Right, Joseph, make herb tea. Actually make us some tea, for goodness sake, because we've got nothing to sell. So yeah, so you can start working on that. We've got loads of ingredients now. We've got loads and loads of ingredients. So hopefully this should... This should be okay to make some money. The only thing is, it's not quite as autonomous as the uh, as the thing that the cupboards had, the little croft, because that just generated stuff out of nothing, really, didn't it? You just grew wheat. You could sell the wheat. Whereas this, granted, you could just get the lavender and sell it. But if you turn it into herb tea, I imagine that's far more profitable. I imagine that's a much better thing to do. So, um, yeah, but it is not quite as straightforward. You have to bother with stuff. Um, and now I think it's time to set up our root as well. So, Valerie, let's go to here. Let's create a root um, and let's call it uh, brew, brew, to, brew to Market because you're taking cups of tea, brews, to the market. Um, we want to load up a cup of tea concoctions. We want to load the tea if i can find where it is there so load herb tea um yeah 20 as much as you can and then go to here and sell the herb tea and that's it and then go back and load it and then go and sell it and just keep doing that for a long time in fact you know what we might not have enough but you're so near we could just do it in fives every time you could do it in five and then we won't get those messages saying oh so and so couldn't complete the trade route so that'll just keep her busy so save that Adhere to that one. Confirm there. So Valerie is going to start working on brew to market. Now, at the minute, she's going to be uh, frustrated because there's no tea for her to collect. So it might come up with one of those things that says, oh, trader, uh, yeah, whatever, as a transporter could not complete the route. We shall see. 
We'll see. Yeah, okay, yeah, because they've not got the stuff to actually pick up. Which is fine. Yeah, I know. I know, Valerie. I know. You're going to keep whinging at us. <laughs> I am aware of the issues you're having. Yes, it's a technical problem. Production has been halted. Why? Why has production been halted? Explain yourself. Why? Why has production been halted? Is it because we're full? Oh, hang on. Hang on. Add-ons. Storage capacity. Give us more storage slots. Yes, 150 of those, please. Uh, 150 money on a couple of those. Yeah, that's a good thing. Um... Oh, yeah, look, it was full. So we've added some more on. Oh, my goodness. We, we need to make some tea to sell and make it quick. <laughs> there we go. Just make at least one and then this message will go away. So, yeah, let's do that. Um, and then how about then we stop you doing whatever it is you're doing because we're really struggling with this. Um, oh, you're loading it all into the front store. Yeah, you're loading it all into the front store. Makes sense. Right, so let's get Judith back home. Right, Judith's home. Judith can also make herb tea. So how many mixed herbs we've got? 34. Yeah, so now let's just crank out a load of a load of herb tea. While this is going on, of course, you're not doing anything at all. Can you? I know you're pregnant, but it, you're a little way off giving birth at the minute. So can you perhaps... Oh, I need to give her a weapon, actually, don't I? Let's go. Let's get her to go over to here. So, and, um, and Claude, can you just go and show off? Can you just go and, and show off about yourself? What are they? Extinguish a fire and go to sleep. Oh, okay, fine. I didn't know they were things. Um, where was the thing where you can just go and, and brag about yourself? Where was that? Boast about our achievements. Yeah, you go and do that. Um, oh, and you can choose where to do it now. Okay, that's a bit of a change. Uh, well, I mean, the market seems like a good place to go. Go over there and do that. This, that's becoming a little bit of a tedious message, isn't it? Yes, yes, we know the deal. <laughs> we know. Right, and now is is Alaris. Where are you, Alaris? Go to the market. And we want to equip you with a weapon as well. Oh, now rapiers are very expensive all of a sudden. Rapiers are quite costly. Uh, daggers are very expensive as well. Oh, my goodness. Okay, fine. Yes, we'll give, we'll give Alaris a... A dagger then, it's fine. It's at least something. It's at least something that she can do to defend herself. Okay, so she's got a dagger. That's fine. She's got artisan clothes. She must have had those when we married her. So yes, 10 armor, 4 resistance, 7% reputation bonus. Oh, that's very good indeed. And you can also um, go and yell about how great you are. Let's do that. Let's go and do that. So you could, uh, Claude can stand there and then Alaris can stand on this side. You can just yell about how brilliant you are. <laughs> Let's do that. That'll get us some influence. Oh, well, that was marvellous news indeed. Look at that. Somebody went into the front store and bought all of the tea that we had stored. All of the herb tea that was in there. Somebody just went in and went, yep, I'll have that. Thank you. ka -ching. And we made about 500 money off that, I think. We made quite a lot of money on that. That's brilliant news. So yes, maybe the front store could be the way to go. But yeah, hang on. So let's, I think, let's go to storage rules. Maybe don't have 10 in the front store. Bring that down to five, because that means that our trader is more likely to have something to go and pick up. And this silly little sort of naggy message will not keep appearing. So yeah, so we'll have that there. So herb tea, keep five in the front store. Let's just rip people off a little bit more. 120%. Let's see if people buy it at 120% of its value. Wheeler dealing. I am running a business. I've got people to pay, you know. They need to put food in there, you know, food, provide food for their families and put roofs over their heads and stuff. So, you know, I need to make a bit of coin somewhere. So, yeah, we'll have five in the store. And that means that we'll be able to actually trade some more. So let's just have a look. Does that work? Does that now work? So there's one in the store. There's two... Uh, oh, Leanne's just going to go and buy them. That's just brilliant. The, the amount of money rolling in. Now, yeah, the only thing is that, that poor Valerie has nothing to trade because people just keep going to the front store and buying them directly. Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> okay. Maybe we don't need a trader. Hang on. Right. Okay. Bring time down to nothing. This trade route is clearly not doing anything. That is just not functioning. How? Let's go into here. Let's just stop for now. Stop the trade route. So don't do that anymore, please. Um, yeah, stop the trade route. Anytime you like, please stop the trade route. Desist. Stop and desist. I just told you to stop the trade route. Desist. Um, yeah, adhere to storage rules then. Do that. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Stop the trade route entirely. Stop. Desist. Do not pick any of these things up. Do not pass go. Stop it. Just pauses the trade route. There we go. So look, people are coming in. Edmund, Ulrich, loads of people are coming in to the front store to actually do so. So maybe we don't need to transport anything. 
maybe we just don't need a transporter. Which is a bit of a sad state of affairs for Valerie, because I've employed her to do some transporting and she's not able to. But people are just buying stuff from the front store. People are just coming straight in and grabbing the stuff directly. So maybe we just don't need... We just don't need all this stuff. Okay, right. Um, Let's... How's our building looking? Can we repair the building? 28. Don't need to do that yet. Um, Add-ons. Let's treat ourselves to a couple of add-ons. Bearing in mind we can only have eight. Uh, disease protection. Yes, we'll have a bit of that. Thank you very much. I think that's a good thing. And then customer satisfaction as well. We'll have a bit of that. Um, and then productivity as well. We'll increase the productivity. So we'll spend some money on our place here because that makes sense. It makes a lot of sense to actually improve what we've already got going. So that'll make things a bit better. Uh, they have put mixed herbs back in there. Can we move them away? Yeah, take them out of there. So 46 mixed herbs. People just keep buying stuff from the front of the store. However, no, stop the trade route. No route assigned. Valerie, stop trying to nickel our blackberries. We don't have many blackberries. Also, seeing as how the herb tea is so popular, let's just put that up to 10 again. Let's just make sure they can store 10. And yeah, no sooner it goes into the front store than it comes back out again. So yeah, we just don't need the trader. We just, uh, the transporter. We just don't need the transporter to take stuff to the market because there's never enough. There is never enough herb tea. People are loving the cup of tea, herb tea. This is brilliant news. You're living up to your name. You're living up to the name of your dynasty. And this makes me delighted indeed. Okay, let's send Theodobald off to gather some more blackberries. We've got plenty of lavender, but we seem to be lacking in blackberries. So he's currently working on the mixed herbs, but we're going to not be able to make mixed herbs soon if he doesn't then go and actually gather some blackberries. So stop doing that if you would be so kind. Go and gather us some blackberries. Bring them back and then you can continue to make the mixed herb mix, which we then use to put in the tea, which is seemingly very, very popular indeed. Apparently, luck is on our side. We are nine gold from real estate speculation. Wow, nine gold. That really has transformed our fortunes. Also, I realise we haven't looked at the skill tree yet for herbalism. So let's have a look at what's going on. So we've got ourselves herbalism one. That's given to us as a surf. So that's allowed us to set up our little herb hut and make the very popular herb tea. The next step is going to cost us 650 money and requires us to be a commoner. That is absolutely fine. It allows us to collect some other stuff. So rock lilies, swamp root, flax, a shadow dagger. I don't know what that is. It sounds very dramatic. And we can attend to patients. And then this one branches out quite early. So we can become an apothecary. We can become an alchemist. We could become a doctor or we could become a scribe. That's a very good, exciting mix of things. I mean, you could become one of each. So that gets you a... <laughs> There's a place called a scriptorium. That sounds like a brilliant place. I mean, you could get level one of each of these. So you could have a scriptorium, a pest house, an alchemist workshop, and a house of herbs. They all sound like excellent things to have. I quite like that idea. So yeah, the minute we need to, need to get down to here, don't we? We need to get down to Herbalism 2, unlock that, and then with a bit of time, because we need to go up through this, sort of, well, down this sort of list as well, we need to become slightly more entitled and privileged. Um, in time, we'll be able to start unlocking these things. And it sounds very exciting. Some of these sound very good. I do like the idea of medicine. Because the bit at the bottom says the study of medicine is expensive and time consuming. Yeah, that's a bit of a shame. However, it not only allows you to heal people, but also to fill your pockets with lots of lovely clinking coins. And do you know what? The idea of profit is a good thing. So I think maybe we'll go down that route. But right now, let's let's upgrade ourselves to a commoner. Too long have we been a serf, able to do very little indeed. Let's become a commoner. It gives us all those things there so we can drive our workers, distract a guard, donate to the church, uh, denounce or praise people, and it allows us to have one more business, and it costs a thousand money. We've got 2004. Let's do this and promote ourselves to become a commoner. Hooray, Claude! Claude Cup of Tea is now a commoner, which is marvellous. And now that means we can unlock this as well if we want to. But do you know what? We won't do that now because we're going to finish up for now. I think we're at a very good place with the Cup of Tea dynasty. I think we've done a pretty good job. We've set things up quite nicely. We've got a sort of a, an offspring on the way. So an heir is on the way to continue the dynasty. Got married obviously to Alaris of Claude's got married which is lovely as well and um, yeah this sort of the herper is set up possibly we need to look at something we can do with the uh, the transporter 
because she just isn't doing anything. So is it worth even keeping her there if people are coming into the front store? I do not know. I mean, maybe later on when we upgrade ourselves to, you know, when we get to higher levels and we can do these things, maybe she'll be useful when we start creating flax or whatever. I do not know. We shall have to see, but we'll do all that next time out because, yeah, we're at a pretty good point to stop for now. If you are enjoying this, if you're enjoying the, the start again of the Guild 3, which is very unfortunate, poor Cupboard Dynasty, sort of gone but not forgotten. But if you are enjoying the uh, the, the Trials and Tribulations of the Cup of Tea Dynasty, then please do leave a like. That would be splendid indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here in the Guild 3. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. This is going to end badly. This is going to end badly, I suspect. <laughs> My God, it's Pengu. So uh, yeah, I don't, I don't have to do the engine bit. I feel that might be a problem in making a car. I've broken the windscreen. It's, en it's ending badly. It's ending very badly indeed. I might crash into a tree. How do I do any of the stuff with this car?